Revelation 3309. From the 27th of October 1944. Spiritual and Earthly Bonds. Maturity. In the spiritual kingdom souls on the same spiritual level unite in order to work together using the strength flowing to them from God. This connection is extremely blissful because complete harmony is the basis and all souls, which are recipients of light and strength, also have deepest love inherent in them which they transfer to each other. It is a constant giving and handing out that is blissful. It is an uninterrupted working of love on the souls that are in need of help and need light and strength. The union of like minded and equally mature beings provides them with increased strength by means of which they are able to accomplish greater tasks than they could on their own. And their successes are correspondingly great. The light being's field of work is, so to speak, expanded, the circle of those they train becomes ever larger and this stimulates them to ever more eager activity, which in turn results in an increased supply of strength. They are extremely happy beings who form a community in spiritual activity, for love for each other wraps a tight bond around them, but they can only enter into this union in the spiritual sphere which corresponds to their degree of maturity. They are spiritually related souls who often had no contact whatsoever on earth but who surpass all earthly bonds in bliss precisely because of the complete harmony of their will, knowledge and love. This harmony is seldom found on earth, and earthly bonds are mostly physical and lack spiritual harmony. And then one can be a hindrance to the other in his spiritual development although each can mature again from the resistances and difficulties which arise from the difference of the joined souls. Nevertheless, the same degree of spiritual maturity is rarely recorded in earthly bonds, for this would already be an excessive happiness on earth, thus a state which would no longer be compatible with earthly life because then people would no longer be able to fulfill their earthly task but could only be spiritually active according to their maturity. Such spiritual activity, however, also requires spiritual strength which would now appear supernatural to ignorant and immature fellow human beings and impair their faith and free will, that is these spiritually united people would have extraordinary strength at their disposal which, however, would be incomprehensible to fellow human beings and would make them unfree in their faith. This is why spiritually equally mature people can only unite in the spiritual kingdom and they must refrain from uniting on earth. But they can still work in love next to and for each other and carry out their spiritual activity for their own happiness, for they will then, as laborers in the vineyard of the Lord, bring blessings to countless souls whom they help to the light, and they will still mature together until their departure from earth, in order to then be able to enter into the union in the spiritual kingdom and now work together as beings of light who are radiant with strength and light and give their spiritual wealth to the souls whom they want to make happy. Amen.